if you're like me, you probably have a lot of grass to cut. I have a lot of grass to cut with varying obstacles to go around and hills and such. And my riding mower is not up to hills sometimes, especially when the ground isn't ready. So it leaves my property looking like this with grass upon it. In today's video, I'm going to try to solve that. Oi, I'm Moby Jessup. Are agriculture tires any better than uh, standard lawnmower tires? Do they mess up the ground? We're gonna find out. So I know this is uh, this is this is not what I normally film, but today we're gonna focus on my old Crapsman. We're gonna see if we can make this thing do any better at what it does. So this is actually an old highway that runs through here, and it goes along through the back. And with it being an old highway, we have this ridge right here, and this ridge. It's hard, it's hard to cut. It just, it just goes right on up. And with this, uh, this Craftsman is a beast of a lawnmower, but it just can't go up it. So, we're gonna see if we can fix it. Here is the control experiment. So you see, only if I hit it with some speed, I'm able to make it up there. But with some speed, we still spun. Hmm, most of them actually don't make it up there. With the blade on, I don't make it up there. So then I have to cut it at an angle and it's always kind of sketchy. Even by the jump, I don't know if I can make that. And the way we're gonna make it grip is with these agriculture tires. Now, many of you guys know, I don't have much money. So, when I found that these tires are $134, I was like, I don't want them. But if you wait a while from tractor supply, they occasionally drop down to $33.99. I can afford that. So, let's swap them out. Got to be like NASCAR up in here. There we go. That's one tire. Let's go ahead and break it off the bead. Using my Harbor Freight tire chain. Step one, remove the valve stem. Remove the bead. tire on and now these tires are directional you want the v's pointed forward so this here is the back of the rim back of the rim on the inside of the mower v's going forward now just put it on you get out of here So I got it. I had to wait till the day after. Um, I had, had things I needed to do. But it took such a pain to get it that I actually dented the rim. Like, you have to really grease up the, the rim, get the tire to sit down on it. And this thing's gonna be the easiest bead to set because it's already sitting without air. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna hammer that back in, put the valve stem in it, and air it up. So I just got the tire mounted up, and let me tell you, that thing right there, she looks good. So we're gonna knock out the other side and we have the perfect day to test because it is raining, which means mud. And mud means getting stuck. So let's get the other one knocked out, shall we? If that doesn't make you excited, I don't know what will. Let's go test it in this ring we've got. So we've got this little slick spot right here. It should show 
spots if you drive through it. So just going through it. So we're going to try to just to creep up it. It, uh, it might be too wet. It's been raining for two days, so. Well, I got to get it up somehow and put it away, so we'll see. I'll, I'll see you back when it's dry. All right, we're back again. Same spot, different day. Uh, it's still wet, but not saturated. So let's give it a shot. All right, so we did it both not cutting grass and cutting grass and we made it up that's good let's go try the same spot we got turtled over there now i've got a feeling this might go the same just because there's this bump up this is a jump so uh let's see if we get turtled now i was not expecting that to be honest we did uh we did spin so she probably got a little hung up yeah we drug right here but it went up it that's impressive very impressive now the last question is is it going to mess up my yard so this little patch right here is the wettest spot in my yard water runs down from the driveway and it all pools right here it's still kind of wet uh there is no standing water because the sun is out today but we're just going to cut this little square right here and see if i mark it up here we go So I just cut this whole area and the only spot that I messed up was where I hit this pole with my blade. Um, yeah, so I spun right there just because I hit my clothesline. I was looking at the camera, I wasn't paying attention and bonk. Yep. But no really indentation in the ground. That's good. So uh, at these tires have my vote. They don't get you... You don't get stuck. You can pull stuff. It is handy to have around. Believe me, I got a lot of stuff and I move around. So a lot of junk gets moved around here up here. But that's my little science experiment for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Subscribe for other stuff that isn't like this. Um, and take care. Thanks for watching.